hi guys and welcome back to my channel so as you can see from the little thumbnail today is like a nesting vlog or episode i don't even know what you call it but it's basically that's my air freshener it's basically me nesting and the things we have planned today aren't a lot but like they're little bits and bobs that like i've just noticed and i'm like i need to do that and it's like how am i out of breath from talking it's a lot of cleaning and like storage organization just little bits and bobs that need to be done today so that's what i'm gonna focus on i'm seeing tish later i need to do a huge food shop because ideally i i heard a piece of advice that was like if you're gonna give birth like the last thing you want to do is do a food shop and obviously aaron will be on paternity leave and he can help me but ideally we want to do like a big food shop with frozen food so if we can't be bothered to cook we have like backup oh also we are putting baby blues um color on the wall and i have i've just i love the color i love the color i can't wait to show you guys so we'll do that now and then i'll move on to my organization so we're testing out the paint and i don't know how to do it aaron is a painter and decorator so he should be able to educate me so now we're gonna put it on the wall <laughs> how do i do it do i just roll it do you even do this when you do painting and decorating or do you just paint the wall only when the clients ask for it no stop sticking it on me <laughs> <laughs> Right, where do I go? Oh, this is going to be hilarious. Go on, just put it anywhere. Do I just put it like this? Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, go yeah. on. Yeah. Oh, why? Look at that. Now what? I just go along? Yeah, go on. Ooh. Yeah, do it a bit wider. Squeeze it as you do it. Yeah. Oh, is that what you meant to do? Yeah, so it comes out. Like this? Yeah. This one's for little baby blue. Oh, it's cute. Do you like it? Yeah, it's nice. I really like it. Aaron's just admiring our baby girl's wall that he's going to be painting. That's it, babe. Huh? That's it. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. You've done such a great job. Do you like it? Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I think she'll like it. I think she's going to love it. It's really creative and innovative. Like, no one would ever have thought of the idea. Have you heard about the guy that he sold a canvas that was blank? He painted it white for millions. This is like a replica of that. No one ever thinks of doing this, do they? That's it, let some air in. I know, it's just hard work carrying a child, isn't it? Well, from here, actually, it looks a lot more pinky. You can kind of tell by the natural light. I literally love it. I love the colour so much. <laughs> the cot won't arrive until the 25th of Jan, which means we are on a bit of a tight schedule considering I'm week 37. So hopefully she doesn't arrive then. Obviously we have the bedside cot, which is the main thing she'll be sleeping in. But this is for like six months and up of this is her room. A little nursery. We got the cute little mirrors. We've got the plant. I might change the plant, I'm not sure. I'm gonna do a whole separate video anyway for when we've finally done everything and I'll vlog the entire thing of like the final nursery. A lot of people do this at like six months. I'm here like week 37 banging out the nursery. Everyone is different. But yeah, this is her little room. Okay, it's time to show you her cupboard. Oh, look, it's so exciting. So we share a cupboard. My stuff is here. As you can see, she's taken up <laughs> most of the wardrobe, but I've got little socks here. A student from my work actually bought these, which is so sweet. And my work colleague bought that ballet bag back there, because if you guys didn't know, I did used to teach baby ballet and I used to dance as well so I thought that was a really sweet addition to just pop with the shoes like her shoes and accessories and a little toy back there but I don't think that's able to be used until she's a little bit bigger. I've got some stuff just kind of 
chucked it in here because I ran out of hangers and I don't really want to buy new hangers when this is just from zero to 12 months because obviously she will go into one year, two years and you get what I mean. So it starts from here with the newborn tag, then it goes zero to three months, then it goes three to six months, then it goes six to nine months and nine to 12. And then after that 12, I've also got like a breastfeeding cover here. I wasn't sure where to put it, so I just put it up there. <laughs> um, and then up here, I've got, so these are like body suits and sleep suits. So this is for three to six months. And this box is for six to nine months. But obviously in the drawers, which I'll show you guys in a minute, I can't really fit everything in because there's only three drawers. And also I don't need to. <laughs> And if you guys don't know this hack, by the way, I haven't done it right now, but when I worked in retail as a manager, they used to get us to do something called finger spacing. And you basically, let me use these ones. You basically measure your finger in between and that gives, so I worked for a luxury brand at one point, and that basically gives the impression that some things apparently look much nicer, as you can see. And then down here I've just got nappies, loads and loads of nappies, which were gifted to us. I've got two baby baths here, so I've got a pink one and a grey one. They were both gifted to me where people just pass them down. And then under here I've got a whole bulk of wipes, Aveeno baby wipes, as well as some huggies. Then I've also got the mamas and puppies, you know sit and play with me thing but i don't really want to get that out because she can't she's not six months yet i've still got time <laughs> and then here i don't know what age this oh zero plus months so we might get this out when she is born i have also got the sling as well so it's a matter of choice we've got like bigger nappies where once again we i think aaron accidentally got them <laughs> but it's handy to have there when we need them and then here i have bedding so I'm going to put all of her bed stuff in there, like her sleep togs, um, her quilts, her blankets, her towels, things like that are going to go in this box here. And then underneath, I've got all the bath extra storage kind of stuff. So I was gifted quite a lot of um, bath, baby bath stuff, and I didn't have anywhere to put it. So I just thought any excess or anything that's gone over, I'll just chuck in here. Um, and yeah, that brings us to the end of the cupboard. <laughs> I'm so excited. Here we have her changing table. Um, someone I think made this. I think a member of my staff actually made this, which is incredible. And all I've got in here, hold on. Let me try to do this with one hand. All I've got in here is some wipes, some muzzy, some moisturiser, nappy cream. I think they're cotton wool buds. Um, I think I'm going to shove some nappies in there when I get a chance. Because obviously when I change her, she'll need to have a little changing thingy. <laughs> and in the first drawer, I have organised it short body suits long sleeve bodysuits and then at the back it's just extra stock like where we've just had been gifted like two people or three people I know have just had a baby and they've all had baby girls so they've all given me their their clothes um so I've stocked it back stocked it so when I run out of this I'll just grab from there and put that in the wash you get me got a whole rotation going down and then here we've got little diddy socks <laughs> look at those Oh my gosh, melts my heart. So we've got socks and tights. And I think some bibs are in there as well. <laughs> then we've got here some leggings. And moving on to the next drawer. And so this drawer's a bit of a mess, guys. I don't have, like, the folding technique or skills down. I did try. But I think I kind of gave up with this drawer. <laughs> we have outdoor kind of clothing. Like... I just can't think of the word. You guys know what I mean, though. And then here we have some sleep suits again. Some more sleep suits. And 
these are just the zippy ones because I think I'm going to lean towards these. So I put the zippy ones together. And once again, back storage. Look, I have a load of clothes back here because in case I run out. And then in the third drawer, oh, this drawer actually doesn't look that bad. <laughs> but in the third drawer, I have cardigans here and here, some muzzies outdoor um there's a word for these like pram suits i think they're called and so i have some pram suits here like all underneath and then oh look at this a little diddy hat that is literally her hat section there's loads of hats under there some little hair accessories and i think that's it and once again back stock so anything back here it's just in case I run out and every, everything goes in the wash here. I think that is everything, guys. <laughs> Let me crack on and do some washing. So Tish and I are going to go to an event tonight, mm -hmm. a Christian event. Yeah. <laughs> Did we do that at the same time? <laughs> that was amazing. Say goodbye. Bye. For a week on Sunday, which is the most brilliant introduction to the Christian faith, it's totally free. It's a West Coast Mission Centre. Good afternoon, guys. Um, it is the next day. The event I forgot to mention we went to yesterday was Jackie Pullinger so you guys may have heard of her I'm not sure if you have um, but she basically just gave her testimony it was incredible um, the work that she's done but anyway yeah the event we went to was really good yesterday um, yeah yeah my plan for today is to deep clean and organize the bathroom as well as I've got to send off some vintage parcels, which is completely irrelevant to this nesting vlog. <laughs> I got my new things! How could I forget? So I got my new changing bag from Fawn Design, but it's actually from Vinted because it's second hand. So I'm going to open that now because I'm really excited to open it. Make some lunch, clean and organise a bathroom, and then move on to... I can't remember. I think that's it for this vlog. That's all I was gonna do. Let's go open it. Oh, I can't wait. How, oh, if you guys wanna see, this is me at 37 weeks. Look at that. Let's find this parcel. Okay. So, I did hit the pink colour and I really love the black but online I think they're like £159 in yeah because obviously it's in dollars I think it's £159 and I didn't want to pay that much so I decided to go on vintage and have a look as 
Oh, she's so cute. Whoever this person is. She's even like packaged it up. So obviously this is second hand. But to be honest, I just thought like who cares? Second hand. Oh. Oh, it's so cute. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be tiny. It's so spacious. If I could show you guys how big this is. Look, it even echoes. <laughs> it doesn't echo. Oh, look. So, I did react. I originally want black because obviously black goes with everything. But then I thought, I'm having a baby girl. I can just do pink. It's only 30 quid, like... I might as well, it's an absolute bargain. And if I change my mind, I change my mind, and hopefully not. I don't want to invest too much into like the aesthetics of things, you know? More of like the price, because it's expensive these days. You've got a little shoulder strap here, or I would like to think that's for the buggy. And you could just pop that on the buggy like that, which would be so much easier. You've also got the option of obviously carrying it on your back, which is handy because I'd rather carry a rucksack than I would rather carry something on my shoulder. I'm just not, I'm not even a bag person, to be honest. I hate carrying a bag. I absolutely hate it. If anything, I say to Aaron, have you got pockets before we leave the house? And then I put everything in his pockets. <laughs> And usually you hear it the other way around, like the girl has the bag and the man says shove everything in, not in our case. I'm like, I don't like carrying a bag, can you put it in your pockets? So this is going to be really different for me, because I'm not used to like taking a bag out of the house. And I always forget something as well, so hopefully this will help me remember. But it's got that, it's a nice shape, nice size, and it's got like loads of storagey stuff. Like here i don't know if you guys can see it's got like a pocket here but then on top of that it's got like a zip inside of that pocket so obviously that'll be really handy for my phone oh it's got a little key ring thing that'll be cute i can hang my keys on it look little key ring it's got loads of like i guess this is for bottles i'll see if i can film it so as you can see it's got like loads of little bottle compartments look at me with my smart words also it's got that front pocket there which is a cute little design another similar design to the inside actually but it's got the little zip i loved as well the sage green color if you guys have seen that online i love the sage green i love the black and to be honest i think i would get this in loads of different colors so Stay tuned to my channel in case I have more children because this bag may be repeating itself. And I am that kind of person that buys like, if I really like something, I'll get it the same thing in a different colour. Um, and obviously if I did have a boy, which I'm not, but if I did have a boy, I would go for black or green. And I am tempted to buy the green, but I'm going to wait. Put a link down below for these bags. That's the bag very cute model it for you with my bum oh i love it look at how cute it is it's not too pink as well it's not too out there in your face it's more muted but yeah that's my little parcel i'm gonna head and get some lunch now and carry on with the vlog in a minute awesome whilst i'm doing the bottles and changing them, making the, them look a little bit That's more aesthetic. Cool. Aaron's watching Kung Fu Panda too. Bad bad. So I'm gonna get crack a lack in with this. My fist hungers for justice. That was my fist. Get up! Come on! Oh. And 
has ever made a decision that would change my life forever. To make my soup without radishes. And to raise you as my own son. Xiaopo. My little panda. And from that moment on, both my soup and my life have been that much sweeter. Please leave my house. Your house? Yes, didn't you see the peacock? Okay guys, now that I've finished with these cute little bottles, I'm gonna head to the bathroom, which is an absolute state. <laughs> oh. Yep, I don't know how we got here, but we're here. So I'm thinking about removing a couple of things and just restructuring the whole thing, to be honest. I think it's time for a time lapse because it's gonna take me a while. We'll be okay. I just quickly wanted to show you guys so this is like the baby bath section here then I've got all the stuff from the bathroom that I need to go through throw out keep whatever I need to do I need to go through and organize that ready for baby and the guest toothbrushes we've got the new mirror which I need to take that label off but I actually can't um, I'm not really sure about this section to be honest I feel like it's just a bit cluttered still but I don't really want to throw away stuff if you know what I mean like if it doesn't need to be thrown away but I think that needs to take up a little bit more space and then up here we've got the shampoo, conditioner, bath soak and body wash. And what I'm thinking is the giraffe in the bath. We, the reason I got this is because it makes me laugh every time I say it out loud. <laughs> but I love the giraffe in the bath. It's just so cute. So what I'm thinking is, hold on, let me show you. I'm thinking of getting it somehow on the wall like that. I think that will look really cute. I just need to figure out how to do that. So I need to ask Aaron. But this is the final project. There seems a lot more stuff than what I had before. So the baby stuff is all ready. This is like bath bombs are in here and I did want to have them out, but they would just go everywhere after I've just cleaned. And then this is just stuff I was gifted, so I didn't really want to put it away. And body scrub, body scrub, obviously shaving gel, hair, um, scalp massager. So that's kind of like my mama section, and then we've got baby section. So I am finally complete in this area. And that should be me done for today. I'm gonna go make some dinner um, and relax. I'm thinking about doing like a 
um what's it called what's it called like a changing oh what to pack in my hospital bag vlog so i should be doing that soon as my as you've seen my new bag has just arrived and i've made use of it by packing baby blues things i so want to tell you her name and i will just want to make sure when she's born that's like definitely her you know some people say when they're born they're like oh she didn't look like da 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 so i don't really want to announce it and they'd be like sauce so guys it's not really her name so i'm just going to call her baby blue for now she's doing good even after all the cleaning cleaning and clearing i will only go as far as my body goes and also i have had i'm i wasn't full-time dancing but i have i was active throughout the week in the sense of teaching and dancing so if you guys have seen me clean and are like <laughs> she's overdoing it i'm really not <laughs> i'm okay um but i do just want to put that out there that you know don't push yourself if you can't do it that brings us to the end of this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed my little nesting face thank you guys for watching bye